Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Traditional mechanical design geometry is made of circles, rectangles, symmetrical lines, and curvatures. It's a reflection of both our manufacturing methods and our design software behavior. But a new breed of software that explores microstructures, known as lattice structures, may pave the way for parts and assemblies well beyond what we have been building. So let's have a look. Take a look at Autodesk Within. It's a software package that lets you generate letters inside a predefined space and optimize the distribution of it using stress analysis. You'd usually start by importing a part or some type of topology you want to populate with letter structures into Within. There are certain structural advantages in those membrane-like microstructures. Compared to solids, they certainly use less material, so it adds to the lightweighting trends and their internal architecture may offer new strengths that we haven't considered before. Within lets you select a type of microstructure or lattice kernel from a library then define the space envelope you want to contain these lattices in, define the distribution behavior, define its dimensions roughly and automatically generate the microstructure. Now this automatic part is rather important because if you have to build such a structure one stem and one joint at a time to its completion, you'll probably grow old before you can get one part done. The automatic lattice building function in the software is impressive enough in and of itself. But this is only part of Within's tool set. The software comes with Nastrans Solver. So, it can run stress analysis, finite element analysis, and structural analysis on your part, then offer what is numerically optimized lattice structure. And that could lead to the kind of design that we have previously never seen or considered because they are well beyond the range of mechanical design we have been producing out of habit or out of our software's ability. Our brackets, gears, and mechanical housings don't always have to be in L-shape or in square boxes, for example. They could look more like creatures out of science fiction. And why not? This is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, reporting from within Autodesk Within.